Hi everyone, I know I've talked before about uh, the games that I've made, like Rune Cairn and We Deal in Lead. I thought it would be worthwhile to explain the system that my games use and how it's different than Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, for instance. So both Rune Cairn and We Deal in Lead are based on Cairn, which in turn is based on Into the Odd. And Into the Odd and all of its descendants uses a d20 roll under system. So this is different from D&D 5e, which uses a roll over system. So the higher your rolls, the better. The roll under system, the lower your rolls, the better. So ones are good, 20s are bad. One of the main differences is that there's no to hit roll, so you just roll for damage. So how does this work, you might ask? If everyone hits automatically, then aren't fights going to be over pretty quick? Combat in Cairn is meant to be deadly. So attacks hit automatically, and you just roll to see how much damage you do. There is an HP stat, but it's called hit protection rather than hit points. Different Cairn hacks call it different things. Rune Cairn, I call it resilience. and We Deal in Lead, I call it grit. It basically boils down to your ability to avoid damage or to continue in the fight. So HP is lost quickly, but it's also regained quickly. So after a fight, you can rest for a moment, have a drink of water, and that'll regain HP that was lost in the fight. So as HP is your ability to avoid damage, when your HP is reduced to under zero, that's when you start taking strength damage. So any damage that reduces you under zero will trigger a critical damage save. So essentially you need to roll a d20 under that strength score. So if you fail that roll, then your character is basically on the ground. If you succeed in that roll, you can continue in the fight. Well, that works the same for monsters as it does for player characters. When you're reducing a monster's HP, the goal is to reduce it low enough so then you can actually start doing strength damage and causing those critical damage saves. So armor acts as damage mitigation. If you have three points of armor, then that would reduce any attack by three points. Unlike D&D 5e, if you've got multiple attackers that are attacking one target, they all roll their damage individually and then take the highest result of those rolls. So it essentially works like uh, advantage in D&D 5e. You've got four player characters attacking one target, all four would roll their damage, and whatever the highest result is, that's what you take. So damage can go on for a long time if monsters have high HP. So unlike D&D 5e, combat can be especially deadly. So there are other mechanical differences between Cairn and D&D 5e, but those are the main ones. D20 roll under, no to hit. HP is hit protection. Critical damage saves once your HP is reduced under zero. Armor is damage mitigation, and combat's especially deadly. So let me know if you want to hear more about Cairn Karen, Rune Cairn, and We Deal in Lead, and the systems that underpin them. Thanks. Um, so I know I've talked more... <sighs> Already failed at the first hurdle.